guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm super excited because I got two new plants, which I haven't gone out and bought plants or bought any online at all since January. So about seven and a half months, almost eight months now. So when I went to Lowe's this morning and I saw the two plants that I'm about to show you, I nearly croaked because I've never seen them in a big box store before. I've only ever seen these plants in nurseries and the prices were way too good not to snatch these plants up. We are going to be switching them from soil to semi-hydro today, so let's get into it. I'm so excited. I mean, I know you know what plants they are because of the title of the video and probably the thumbnail, but I'm way too excited. And I'm putting on these gloves because the gloves I have are way too loud. Like they're way too noisy and I don't feel like dealing with that today. So we got the painter's gloves on today and we are going to ponder the plants. Let's go get them. Okay guys, so the first plant that I got today was this philodendron brandianum. I'm pretty sure this is a philodendron brandianum or brantianum. Brandianum? Brantianum? I can never pronounce these plant names right, but who cares? Look at how gorgeous she is. Anytime I've ever seen this plant, it was really overpriced, but I think I got her for, let's see, she was $16.98, and she's a pretty decent sized plant, a lot of growth on there. Side note, I did get these from Lowe's. So this was, so this was the last one at Lowe's. So I had to snatch her up because honestly, this plant has been on my wish list for a while now. I just really never come across it. And anytime I look on Etsy, it's overpriced for a couple cuttings. So when I saw this for under 20 bucks, I definitely had to snatch it up. It looks like it might have some pest damage and some sun damage, but I guess that's okay. We'll check it out when I unpot her, but look at the cute pot that she came in. So in addition to the, I think the settings are wrong. Are the settings wrong on the camera? I don't know. I don't know shit about cameras. Anyways, so to get all of this plant and this wicked cute pot for under 20 bucks, definitely a steal. But moving on to the next plant that I'm even more excited about. I used to have this plant in my collection, but it was like a baby. I bought like a two leaf cutting for over 20 bucks, so it was definitely not a steal. And before you guys say anything, I know that it has obvious pest damage, and I'm going to take care of that. And if it kills my whole collection, that's my business. But I found a beautiful philodendron micans. I honestly have never seen a Mikan's in a big box store, so I definitely snatched this up. It was also the last Mikan's in the store, and I looked and looked and looked because I really wanted one that didn't have pest damage on it, but I only saw this one, but if you could see, a lot of the leaves are crusty, like a lot of them. So I'm really gonna give this a good, good washing because I really don't want this to die. I really want this plant. What really attracted me to this plant was how beautiful the red leaf looks against the black pot. I don't know what this is made out of, but it kind of looks like cement and it's just so gorgeous. Right on time for spooky season, which is right around the corner. I'm so excited. But when I went to go cash out with this plant, it didn't have a price tag on it. And because it had damaged the person who had to come ring me out, they gave it to me for $7. So I got this hanging basket with this beautiful planter and this beautiful plant that we were gonna get back right for $7. I was so happy. He asked me, he said, how is $7? I said, that's completely fine. Who wouldn't have took this for $7? Look how beautiful this pot is. What is this made? It's not plastic either. It's the good shit. I love it. I wish I could see how much it was, like how much I got off, but I feel like it was probably like, what, 20 to 25 bucks. Most likely. But we are gonna convert the Mikans first because he obviously has a little bit of pest damage and I need to get that off as soon as possible, so let's do it. Oh my God, I haven't done this in months. I feel a little bit rusty. I'm scared of this plant, honestly. Like, what is all this stuff on it? What is that? Why is there so many damages? I don't really like that. Hopefully this doesn't kill my whole collection. Let's get it out. Let's get it on. I'm nervous. We need to get her out of this hanging basket and she's a little bit tangled, so. Ooh. 
Look at me not scared of soil until I see a freaking fungus gnat. There were a lot of fungus gnats in Lowe's and I just hate that so much. Like, ugh, take care of these plants. There were a lot of nice plants at Lowe's though. Like I seen a philodendron pink princess and it had some really good variegation on it, but I just don't really like the philodendron pink princess. So I wasn't gonna get it just to get one, you know? Ew. So this is the pot that she's in right now. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful plant, guys. I really hope I'm able to save her. And I'm really hoping that this isn't from pests. I don't know though. I don't see any pests on it. Like if I'm being honest, I looked when I was in the store as hard as I can. I probably look so weird inspecting these plants in Lowe's. But I didn't see any pests on it and I don't see any now. So I don't know if this is from like underwatering, but it doesn't look like it. Because why would the damage start like that? Like that looks like pest damage, so. Just to be on the safe side, let's get her out of here and have her soak in some peroxide for like however long it takes me to convert the other plant. Okay, let's get her out of here. Hopefully bugs don't fly out and hit me in the lip. <laughs> I hate bugs. Oh wow, how beautiful. Look at those roots. Oh, now I already dropped soil on the floor. It just mopped my whole house yesterday. Look at that guys. How healthy and she's pretty well watered, which is good. I don't know, but I watched a plant arena video a while ago. She said to always repot your plants when they're well watered. So that's always been in the back of my mind. I could go outside and use the hose, but that seems like a lot to do right now. So I'm not gonna do all that. Let's just stick that there. Oh my God. In my last video, this lady commented saying I needed a potting mat. I have one, but that's, I have to clean that also. Like I know I have to clean this desk off after, but like, I'd have to clean the desk and the potting mat if I was to use one. So this is just easier, you know? Oh my God, oh, I hate when plants break apart like this and I'm gonna have to like rearrange the whole thing after. This is pretty dense and I wanna get the roots as clean as possible. So I'm gonna go over to the sink and power wash them with the sink thing. <laughs> I'll be right back. 12 seconds later. Philodendron Mikens, anyone? So I rinsed them all off. I did it like that because I wanted to keep all the roots together like this, but this is how clean I could get them. I wish I could get them cleaner, but I'm not about to scrub them with a toothbrush. And I'm looking at the foliage now, still checking for pests, still not sure if that's pest damage, but I got a little bucket with some water in it. Ooh. I got a bucket with some water in it right here. Water, Dawn dish soap, and peroxide. Is this hot? No, it's just warm. Oops. This little thing trying to push out a mic and it's a little cutting. How cute. But I'm gonna stuff this all in here. Let me show you guys. I'm just shoving it in here. I'm not trying to kill my whole collection if there's pests. So what is that? Something black already? What is that? What is that? Oh my god, is that a book? It looks like a book. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I just don't want to kill my whole collection with a pest that I'm unsure about. So we're just gonna soak her in here for a few while we take the soil off of the brandianum. They both look so crusty, but I could not leave these gorgeous plants there. Like what? I just remembered what I was saying earlier. I really didn't want to go big box shopping because the last time I went big box shopping at Lowe's, actually I think it was Home Depot. It doesn't matter though, it was a big box store. I came home and that plant, I didn't even notice it was infested with mealybugs for like a week. So I had another plant that had mealybugs on it from that plant and it was just terrible. So I told myself I was never buying plants from a big box store again. So that's why I'm going the extra mile to dunk these, even though I inspected these in the store. Like I wouldn't have bought the Mikeans if I didn't thoroughly look at it. I didn't see any pests. I just see signs that there may have been pests or maybe too much sunlight or too much water. I'm really not sure, but there's no active pest Imagine I looked in there and there was like bugs floating on the top, but I don't see pests as of right now. But let's just say these plants ended up having thrip or something, goodbye. I'm not dealing with that. I feel like I don't need a new plant that bad, you know? 
Like I want a new plant to be something that's not stressful. Even though I do transfer all of my plants to semi-hydro, which is a little bit stressful, but this is just how we do things around here. I would rather not be dealing with any pests. So that's really why I haven't brought any plants in my collection within the past eight months. I did let somebody send me a plant, which I think one of them has thrip. I don't even want to think about it right now. But yeah, I don't really be messing with new plants like that anymore because of bugs. And I really love all my plants, so I don't want to introduce something to them that could invest them potentially. You know? Anyways, I lost my gloves because those gloves got soaked. I thought they were rubber and they're like fabric. So I have to put on the noisy gloves for right now. I'm so sorry. But honestly guys, I'm really excited to have these two new plants. Like. For real. I've been wanting them for a while. Like the Mikans, I've been wanting another one for a while. I haven't had a Mikans in like two years. I needed another one. And the Brantianum, love this plant. So happy I found it and I'm so grateful, seriously. I didn't even want to go big box shopping today. Like I truly didn't want to go big box shopping today, but when I tell you I'm so happy I did, I'm so happy I did. Both of these plants together were $25 and change. Oh. This thing says, not for sale, individual sale. This was definitely $17. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, look at me about to rip the soil off. Guys, look at how pretty she is. I'm so excited to have another philodendron in my collection. I can't even remember the last philodendron. Oh, just kidding. It was a Brown Marks Fantasy. I was gonna say, I can't remember which philodendron I bought last, but it was definitely the philodendron Brown Marks Fantasy. Love her. She's amazing. She's putting out a new leaf right now. I posted it on my July planty dump on my Instagram if you want to go check that out. But I should be doing a planty, a plant collection update. Oh, I just spilled soil all over myself. I really want to do a plant collection update soon. There's just a lot of plants in a lot of random places. So I'm trying to get stuff a little bit more organized before I show you all the plants in my collection again. But it's a wild time here in the jungle right now. This is what the roots are looking like on her. And I'm just gonna get as much soil as I can off. Really trying not to mess up my kitchen sink because Lord knows it already has issues. Well, this is a lot easier. I think it's because it's a lot, it was drier. Let me show you guys, hold on, sorry. I just have the shortest shorts on and I'm trying not to flash you my ass. Okay, so I'm just, Let's do a hand over here. Actually, it's not. There's a little, a little piece of brandy on Tom, if you will. Oh, so there's a few of those in here. Oopsies. There's two, another one. But I have like tiny ones from my Mikans as well like this. Maybe I'll pot those little ones from the Mikans and this one in the same pot. Ooh. Just to have a little mixture because I did that with some Hoya recently and they're beautiful, honestly. I combined some Hoya, what is that plant? Hoya Pibicalix with some Hoya Crimson Princess and it's so gorgeous. I think this is all the dirt I'm gonna get off. All right. Guys, you wanna know something that I'm thinking right now, but I'm scared to say out loud because like, I don't want it to happen, but I just took soil off of both of these plants and there's no fungus gnats in sight. Wow. I'm gonna go rinse these off. I'll be right back. Dutty, dutty. Okay, so my brandiano is rinsed off. Oh my god, this plant is so gorgeous. I really always wanted one. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just so happy I found these two plants. It's like they were waiting there for me when I got there. <sighs> Anyways, I am going to be potting the Mikans back in its pot. Like I can't not pot it back in this gorgeous pot, but I'm going to be putting this insert in there. And I know it looks redonkulous, but this is what we're working with right now. It's okay. But first, let's get our bucket, see if any pests have come to the surface. I don't see anything besides that little black thing I saw earlier. We're just gonna switch these. I'm gonna put the Brantianum into the bucket and take out the Michaels. 
I'm trying to grab by the root so I don't get this shit all tangled and mixed up. There we go. It's bubbly. It's very, very bubbly. <laughs> Should I go rinse it off really quick? So much better, not bubbly anymore. Oh my God, I'm so happy I have a Mikeins again. Wow, so beautiful. I already have my mixture. You guys already know the deal. If you don't, go watch my old videos. I think it's so funny when somebody comments on an old video saying I don't know what I'm doing. Like, that was two years ago. Can you imagine how much I know now about plants versus two years ago? Use your brain. I'm begging. Anyways, let's take the insert. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Am I dramatic? I really just love... Oh. <laughs> What happened, girl? What is going on? What is my My sister's literally outside my house waiting for me to come play with her. We're 11 months apart, so we're really close, kind of like twins. So yeah, I'm trying to hurry up so I can go hang with my sister. I'm just going to... I think the last time I had a mic in, I had her in just Lekka, and it ended up dying. So that's why I'm trying a self-watering pot this time so the roots can like grow through the bottom. But I am kind of nervous for this. Why do I feel like this is too small? I feel like it'll be fine though, honestly. I'm trying to get it into the pot right. The self-watering pots are pretty hard. Let me, sorry guys. Okay, so I'm just trying to get her situated in this pot before I backfill. Just making sure all of her roots are down pointing the right way some of these are like flipped around so I'm really trying to get it to a point where as soon as I backfill it's good because once it's not good that's when I start getting stressed out okay I think now is a good time to backfill if I see it declining it's getting snatched out of here I said the same thing about my Hoya serpents and guys the ones that were in the self-watering pots they got removed a few days later but I was kind of mad that I removed them because they were doing kind of good. Like I looked and they were doing pretty good after I unpotted them. So I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna move them to, I think I moved them all to these kind of cups. But you guys will see that in my plant collection update. Okay, not too shabby. This is how it's looking in here. Move this leaf so you guys can see. I'm not sure if you can see some of the roots in there, but like we're down here. It looks pretty good. I can't even lie, it does. Everybody's down in there good. No stragglers on top. Oh my god, you guys can see my little chunky legs. I literally gained like 20 pounds in the last year. Oh my god, you guys probably noticed because I've had this channel for like over two years now. Look at how gorgeous she looks on camera. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Give her a nice, good water. Okay, moving on to the Branty Anum. She's in the bucket of soapy water. I think this is really gonna help. I don't think I ever soaked. Maybe I've done this a few times with a couple plants. A few times with a couple plants. A few times with a few plants. But I don't really go... Let me shut up. I haven't done this in so long. Look at how freaking cute this is. Like, I want this in its own pot by itself. Because it's just so cute. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put him with the rest. Or should I not? <laughs> Either way, I have to go rinse this off because it's soapy, so I'll be right back. Okay, she's not bubbly anymore. I really didn't want to put her into a pot that was not self-watering, but I have this cute little round jar that she's gonna go in until I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, should I? I think it might be fine in here. We'll take our chances and I'll update you if I see any Declining. What the fuck is that? There's like moss everywhere on everything. I'm gonna put about that much. Just because she has a lot of roots already, so this is gonna be very temporary. I'm just getting her accustomed to semi hydro. That's all, folks. So this is what she's looking like for now. I'm probably gonna use something to support her or stake her up a little bit, just to really show her off, but not right now. I just wanted to get her in this pot. 
gonna give her a little bit of water. Lidendron micans, all transferred. And then the brandy anum. That also brings me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Plenty videos. And until my next video, bye guys.